Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Valhalla Gameplays. I am your host, the mad scientist Miles Lowroad, and today I have a little bit of a tutorial for it. Tutorial. Tutorial. How do you say that? Tutorial for you <laughs> today. Um, I was in a Doom group on Facebook and uh, someone had mentioned that they were having trouble getting a local game started on Zandronum using the wads and mods that they had downloaded from servers that they had played on. Um, I'm believing that that's the issue, uh, but this is relatively easy so long as you are, you enable hidden files as well as know the correct file path. So first of all, let's uh, locate where the mods and wads are downloaded when you enter a server game. So first of all, we want to open up control panel. Oops. Control panel, here we go. Of course in uh, Windows 7 it's a lot easier to do, right? Um, you just go to your start bar, control panel, and boom, there you go. Windows 10, uh, the easiest way to do is just search for it. So once you're in control panel, then we want to go to file explorer options. Uh, in Windows 7 and before, it will be uh, folder options. Once you're here, you want to click on view, and then make sure that under hidden files and folders, uh, this little box right here is clicked, is, uh, clicked showing uh, show hidden file folders and drives. Um, this will allow you to show things that uh, aren't normally seen that are hidden from the normal user. Then you'll click apply and OK, and boom, there you're good to go. Um, then we'll go over here to Zandronum, oops, to Doomseeker, the front end for Zandronum, and then we'll hit this button right here, create game. I'm going to clear this out real quick. So uh, by default, uh, you should have a path here for your IWAD. Uh, usually it's program file, Zandronum, Doomseeker, slash WAD, or wherever you keep your IWADs at. Um, IWADs being like Doom, Doom 2, uh, Plutonium Experiment, uh, etc. Um, if it's not, if this isn't uh, by default showing, you can click on these three dots and uh, select the folder that you want to point to. Um, this one actually is in our hidden folder, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, let's add some mods, shall we? So I'm going to hit the add button here at the at the bottom and uh, this is exactly the folder I want to be oops, this is the folder I want to be in but uh, for demonstration's sake let's go back to C drive so uh, in order to find it we want to go to our C drive then once we're in C drive we're gonna go to users then uh, double click on your main user and then what, if you've enabled uh, hidden files and folders to be shown, then this, this folder, App Data, will be present. You'll double click on that, and then you'll go to Roaming. And after that, the first one, more than likely, will be the first one, dot Doomseeker. You'll double click on that. And this is the default folder where all of your server downloads go to. So now let's pick a couple wads from here. We'll pick, uh, let's see. Where is it? We'll do the high definition texture pack. Um, I really don't see anything else I want to use from here, so we'll hit open. I also want to add a few others. So my the main folder that I use when I download uh, wads and mods independently is uh, the Doomseeker folder. So we'll go back to C drive. Uh, we'll go to program files x86. There's two program files here, right? Um, one's pro regular program files because I'm in 64-bit. The 64-bit programs go here, and then the 32-bit programs go in x86. So we'll double click there, and then we'll go scroll down to the bottom for Xandronum. After that, we'll double click on Doomseeker, and this um, Doomseeker also looks at this folder for wads. So I tend to just Put them in here when I download them from like ModDB or other places. Um, what's the other one? Wad uh, Archive Wad Depot or something like that. Anywho, uh, let's click on a couple here. We'll get Mod or Brutal Doom V20B because I love it so much. We'll pick up uh, the um, E1 M8B, the new 
um, Romero map. And we will also pick some music here. So we'll go with PSX Doom just to keep it creepy. And open. Cool. So now we got all of our wads. We have the one that was downloaded independently, this um, texture pack in our uh, hidden folder, and then the three others within the Doom Seeker folder. Now, uh, you can also click here for rules. So uh, it's set to Nightmare, that's what we'll keep. Um, miscellaneous. This is just uh, some information if you're gonna actually broadcast this, like uh, the URL of your website, email, uh, password to connect if, if such, and uh, a remote connection password as well if you need uh, administrators outside of yourself. Uh, good to do even uh, if you're doing, if you're the only administrator so that you can um, Archon in via the uh, console in the Zandronum engine. Uh, we'll click on flags here. Uh, these are all good. You know, you can click on no monsters if you're doing DM or, you know, barrels respawn, which I think is kind of <laughs> interesting. That'd be kind of cool for DM. You know, barrels come back so you can blow people up. Uh, I have checked here items respawn and mega power ups respawn for a cooperative game. Um, and yeah, you can check here. There's all kinds of uh, different flags that you can change for players, cooperative, deathmatch, etc. Uh, custom parameters as well. Um, this is like, you can also enter this in from the console. These are like your server variables, like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, SV uh, underscore. Uh, monster respawn, monsters st uh, respawn if that's set to true, etc. So uh, anyways, now that we've done that, down here at the bottom we got this wonderful button that says play offline. We'll click on that and here we go. Eventually, here we go. Come on now. And there you have it. We are now in our offline game. Uh, I did load e, uh, E1M8B, so I'm going to change that. So, a little caveat here. A little code change. Change map. Space. E1M8B. Or, no, E1M8. In order to get to this menu, just a little tilt here. So yeah, um, there you have it. We have our music, we have our uh, HD texture pack, um, which we got from our download folder. Uh, we have Brutal Doom V20B, and uh, yeah, it's feeling awesome. Glad to be in here. We're also uh, on Romero's map, which is really cool. And you gotta love the PSX Doom music, it's just absolutely amazing. But uh, I hope this video was uh, absolutely informative to you. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm always here to help. Uh, people that have commented before, you know, I'll tell you that I'm really quick about it. Um, thank you for watching again. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to Viralis on YouTube. His channel, Viralis Does Gaming. You can click right here to check him out. Uh, he does some awesome videos at Halo 3, I'm sorry, Halo 5, and... Uh, What's the other badass one he does? Um, League of Legends. And uh, click this upper right hand uh, annotation. You can check him playing out, uh, playing one of our favorites, Doom 3. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyways, thanks again everyone for watching. Enjoy a little bit of jibs on my way out. We'll see you next time. <laughs>